Hi, I'm Barry John and welcome back to Let's Play Mech Commander Gold Desperate Measures. With me is my special guest star. G'day guys, this is uh, Pango556 aka the Staff Sarge. Taking a break from uh, my mech action. Uh, just to help out with a little bit of the strategery. This is Burnout. Uh, I have uh, a new contact. Well, thank you for joining us and we're running right into the mission because it's a long one. At oh, yeah. almost 24 minutes, I've already cut out two minutes of me just wandering around. But, first things first, I want to introduce the newest mecha of the here. Of my, I uh, think I've got a new battalion. Contact. Hunter is rolling in the Atlas. That bloody time you brought one of those things. I'm on it, sir. Well, it, during my test runs, I kept getting uh, trashed one way or the other. So I decided to say fuck it, bought the biggest, meanest mech I could, and uh, went with that. Things kind of turned out alright. Enemy mech destroyed. Yeah, I mean, it's got a good amount of payload, and uh, if Incoming you haven't fire. waited until the enemy first. I'm on it, sir. The sheer amount of armor that thing carries. Yeah. Oh, it's so beautiful. Fair part for everyone. Close. Of course, it's slow here. as Take hell. Fire. Was it 15 meters a second? Max speed? Yes, 12, I think. Take your oh, shot. Bloody. Incoming fire. Yeah. It. D the Mech Commander version, I don't think, models the full uh, three one one left enemy crawler of the Atlas. Yeah. Actually, I'm fire. just uh, flipping through the I'm manual. On it, yeah, it is One literally the slowest mech you can get. Uh, well, it's got 50 meters a second in here. Oh, 15 meters? Yeah, that might work out as a 3.5. Everything else is a 4.6 uh, or contact. higher. Yeah, I mean, you know, the awesomes are 18 meters a second, and that's... Standard for heavies and assaults. Yeah. Unless you're clanners, in which case you don't slow down under 24 meters a second. Yeah. Freaking hacks. This is well, actually, there is one I mech which I, I believe uh, you'll be riding in the next mission after this. Which is actually the <laughs> <first> one. <laughs> yes, that particular mission. Okay, oh. uh, so so the operation here, from what I remember, this one, this one was a little bit tricky for me just because of the length of it, the amount of ground you've got to cover, and the amount of opposition. So. Uh, did you want to go over what seemed to happen? Uh, I have a new contact. Well, in this particular mission, as you can see on the minimap, there are three objectives. Uh, actually, I'm hitting up an optional side objective around this time, which is to disable the power plant guarding the first objective, the one labeled 3, in the middle of the map. The one labeled 3 is the active sensor arrays deployed by the clans around the primary target, and by controlling that, they won't see me coming outside of their actual sensor, sensor ranges. Of course, you know, hitting this particular target is an interesting this affair because I've faced it contact. so many times on the I'm on it, next. I've got my target. You mean engaging that uh, Jaeger mech right there, or is there? I'm taking fire. Oh, wait. The Jaeger mech? Wait for it. Wait for it. Ah, uh, the joys of everything. Ah, there we go. Enemy mech destroyed. I'm on it, sir. Oh, uh, yeah, but the thing is, these four Jaeger mechs, uh, they're Feels pretty, like target, pretty right? powerful. Uh, especially on my earlier test runs, I was running with the, uh, 12 yes, sir. mechs, 12 light mechs, and yeah, these guys just up. tore them to shreds. They would do, I mean, it's a, uh, uh, you decided it was an Ultra AC2 for the, uh, the light AC. Yeah. I don't think I mean, these guys like it, but it could switch out to well. He came apart real good. Well, it could be an Ultra I'm AC5, depending on the light on a fence. When I started modeling the light Ultra ACs, it was for the lighter mechs, so the Take lighter weapons shot. were better fits. Right but one of the Jaeger right. mech here, an Ultra AC5, is destroyed. a good model. I'm on it, sir. Let's see how much you Fortunately, with this one here, I've got the massive firepower to go with it. I mean, look at the amount of damage the hunter's taken. Eh, he's fine. Yeah. And this is a bit where everyone wishes that the Atlas got CQC because they can just punch I'm that out there. Another one for yeah. the billboard. So, yeah. Unfortunately, Mech Command... Yeah, when has there ever been a Mech Warrior game or a Mech game that modeled melee combat. The closest is Death from Above, which is in um, which is in pretty much every game. Uh, yeah, except this one, oddly enough. No, this one does have it. If you hold on the J, okay, the I'm jump on button, uh, over an enemy mech, it actually comes up with a targeting icon. Okay, I'm on it. Hmm. 
I might have to try that in a bonus video. Yeah. Sure, I think I've tried it so, so many times. Yeah, but okay, it, it, yeah, I actually I got, to work, so I got to work once. Off. I believe I had a um, something like an Atlas jump jet. I jumped on another Atlas. Repair complete. Shh. Actually hit it and just one hit kill. Yeah, yeah. Th for those folks at home, this game yeah, has too. Atlases with jump jets. If that doesn't tell you how awesome things get, uh, I don't know what will. Repair complete. Yeah, I figure you know I gotta fix up all my mechs at this point. Yes, sir. There's one. This is one of two repair bays, and given the, the other one is Building near captured. objective three, so after that there's half a mission where you got to go out. You know, either run all the way back to do repairs, or you know, just Repair simply complete. completed. And either way, you can uh, get you messed up pretty quick. Burnout here. Uh, I have a new contact. No problem, I mean, sir. The, as you will see near the end of the video, uh, things kind of don't go my way where that's concerned. Repair complete. My refit completed, sir. Yeah, my guys are taking the long way around because you betcha, sir. I drop burnout into a it, weapons sir. variant rather sir, than a jump jet here. variant, so I couldn't have them go over the walls to capture stuff. Repair yeah. complete. I'm all mixed up. Yeah. Yes, sir. Uh, two ER PPCs and a Gauss rifle on the Atlas. Is that all it has, or does it have no, a bunch of secondary sir. stuff? It has LRMs and uh, pulse lasers. Ah, of course. But those are, you know, repair. secondary My repair to the awesome that is, you know, ER PPCs and I'm on it, sir. all that. This is burnout. Uh, I have a new contact. I mean, I'm always going with the uh, the load of. Mixed loadouts. So you have your primary weapon, which is a big hitter. In this case, those PPCs and uh, Gauss rifle, but then also a whole bunch of secondaries just in case. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's logical. I think I've got a new logical, contact. but yeah, when you're trying to do it with uh, lighter mechs or even with medium mechs, it can leave you a little bit uh, undergunned. Mm -hmm. Well, at that point, you just start boating things. Yeah, but boating's so cheap. Yeah, but. At the way this game handles things every once in a while, you have to boat. Well, I've got my two Centurions decked out the same. Uh, a couple of uh, Clan Medium, their ER Medium lasers, an auto cannon, and a PPC. So everything's New all the leader same selected. So you want to put everyone into one force group? Yeah. Well, it, I figured at this point, you know, it's easier than you know hitting F1, then. Shift F2, then Shift F3 to pick everything up. It's yeah. just one of those things where you know, uh, it just Burnout made here. it easier for uh, me. I have a new run. contact, and I can, and I found that in longer missions, I can uh, drop out dead mechs, or you know, keep a second, uh, uh, keep a second force lance for dedicated other uh, purposes. I think I've got a new contact. Yeah. They've got me targeted. That pulse. giant... Oh, yes. Always more catapult. This mission is all about the catapults and the Jaeger mechs. And you're going to see a lot of catapults and a lot of Jaegers before this is done. But mostly catapults. Burn out here. Uh, I have a new I mean, the catapults are probably the more effective, especially as mobile defense is here. They can just uh, unload over any obstacle with that high wall there. Yeah. The two sets of walls, really. Well, the medium wall, uh, normal walls you can walk through, medium walls you can shoot over, but you can't walk through, I'm and on there's it, high sir. walls which are no here. Like, only I believe. Fire. Mm -hmm. but yeah. I mean, the I second, a second, second ladder walls is yeah, really Let's queue them up. Yeah. But fortunately, it, if I try to take this, this place right without destroying that power plant first, uh, all those guns would be firing at me, the auto cannons and the LRM. Um, and it just get ugly very fast. I'm taking fire. That takes care of him. And it would. But I, I think, think though, sir, I can't there was. Oh, what was the strategy? I'm on it, sir. I think it was. Um, yeah, it's a mech. Kind of like everywhere. when you were kiting those uh, Jaeger I'm mechs. You run in a couple of mechs to lure out the catapults, and then while they're busy, you jump jet mechs over the walls, grab the. Uh, yes, sir. The turret Reporting controls. building secured. And then building you go out the yeah, I tried gear. that during my practice it. runs, but those were with the uh, building light capture. mechs. By the time I got to this point, I simply couldn't hold against what was coming I'm on next. It, sir. 
So it's just a case of, uh, you know, yes, sir. Mission kill everything. Reporting building well, thankfully, it's only catapults here. Capture. It's not a mad no dog problem, vultures. Repair if we uh, yeah, those, those, that would have just be been... Painful. Yeah. You're one of those guys who you... Yeah, Mad Dog being the uh, clan name, the Vulture being the Inner Sphere name. So this game uses the Inner Sphere names for everything. Because you're a... yeah, a spheroid. As does, yeah. uh, as does Mercs. I... Yeah, but those are from the point of views of the uh, Inner Sphere, not the, uh, not the clans. Yeah. Yep, and... Yeah, fix things up more. Although really only Hunter and Bruno don't need things at this point. Everybody else just gets their ammo topped off. And here and come Jaeger. Nice. I'm on it, yep. sir. I don't think these guys like me. Oh, so Locked, much fun. And fire. But it's a case of, you know, you gotta keep an eye on things. Dogger, you look good. I'm on it, sir. I'm gonna retreat back anyone takes too much damage. This is kind of a bit where, um, again, because they have no this indirect weaponry, fire. where having those defenses could help, but yeah, you could actually this kill them first. This is Hunter. They're for everyone. Yeah. The thing is that, you know, I took out the I'm power sure. supply, so all those I'm here. Um, defending weapons are dead one way or the other. He came apart real good. But fortunately, you know, I've got enough uh, firepower that I can wipe out a, a Jaeger in like 10 seconds. And that's about all the time you want to go against one of those. Uh, I have a new contact. So once you, t once you take that point, does the enemy just send in... Yes, does the enemy actually deploy I'm on it, sir. Is it just... Burn out just here. It's got me target. Your, uh... No, taking the uh, sensor tower like that... Uh, activate the Jaeger. Crash in my armor. If you don't take the center tower and bypass it, because the center tower you is a secondary It's not required to finish like the mission. What is the primary him. is the uh, number one and number two. I'm on it, sir. Right hand of the mini map. So when you yeah. take the center tower, though, the Jaegers advance on the target there, allowing you to deal with them separate from everybody take else. Take shot. Changing attack range. Yeah, but I mean, those, uh, those catapults, did you They're just blunder into me. their sensor range? Uh, these ones up here, yeah, I pretty much wandered into the sensor range for the most part. Oh, fair enough. Now begins that joyous time when you've got to try and get an atlas to run across the map. <laughs> it could be worse. I mean... I'm not actually sure how. Possibly, ways... possibly if the game added in, like, yeah. Oh, sorry. There's actually three ways to get to the targets from here. There's the bridge which the catapult blew up already. There's another bridge to the north with two other catapults guarding it, and then there's the long route. So you can see how well things worked out with that. Hmm. So there's an Adi barrage like that missed. Sorry, I didn't hear what you said there. How do you do that? How do I do what? Like, you had a barrage that missed. Oh, wait, no, the second one got a hit. Yeah, it's just a case of uh, what happens there being... Uh, it's actually random, the way it works. You know, you hit okay, random targets on the mech, and sometimes you get lucky, and sometimes the random number god just says, Screw you! Repair uh, complete. complete. So no damage. Yeah. Yeah, but like I was saying, I mean, it could it could be worse. I've been um, playing around MechWarrior 4 Mercs. One of the uh, one of the new ones added in. Oh, pop up carrots. I'm on it, sir. Oh yeah. This is Falcon. But Incoming I knew those fire. Yes, sir. It's a highly professional organization. Uh, the mech tech pack, yeah, it added in uh, one mech, the Annihilator, which I got a, which I had a bit of a play around with in, um, in Solaris in, in my let's play, and yeah, when you take out a any of the engine power, um, it kind of, it kind of can't move. The Annihilator? Isn't that the 90-tonner? 
No, it's a, it's a hundred ton. Oh. It is an ancient, ancient design. Oh, I, I remember that one from Mech Warrior Three. Yeah, and it was it was a hundred ton mech. Uh, you first you first meet on one when you meet up with that. Uh, I have a new contact. Oh, who's it? You got it. Enemy components uh, captured. Yeah. Those LBX. Those LBX yes, ATs. Enemy yeah. components captured. Building captured. Yeah. It's amazing what I'm the on plants it, sir. can do. Incoming fire. <laughs> yeah. Take this. Huh? Yes, sir. This is Link. One less enemy crawler. I'm on it, sir. Yeah, I'm trying to play with it. One less in enemy moves. crawler. You drop down the engine power, and then it, it just it, seems like it just can't move. It just it sort of saunters its way around the battlefield at 20 kilometers an hour. Huh. That's not fast. Wait, 20 clicks? That's a 1-2 move. What are you doing running around through the soul mech at 1-2? 20, 20 or 30, something like that. It's, it's insanely slow anyway. It's painful. I can believe that. But on the that. on the flip side, you have, all, it, of the, uh, you have all of the you have all the ACs, so <laughs> they're shooting me up. Yeah. One left enemy crawler. AC tens, ultra AC tens, LBX AC tens, Taking so much fire. fun. Enemy vehicle destroyed. Wait, why is that door still open? I'm on it, sir. Oh, because Reporting the uh, vehicles are in the way. They're yes, triggering the uh, okay, door Okay, got open. it. And I think This is Link taking enemy fire. But of course once I Goblin capture here. the They're gate, targeting me. Case of, Burn out here, um, building yeah. capture. Capture the gate. There's a lot of, of stuff Rio coming too. up right away. I'm on it, sir. Busy working on I'll take care of it. Take a shot. I'm under attack. Like hitting a tin can on a fence. Burn out here. It got me targeted. One of the things I've noticed about the AI in this game, though, is that if you're he under fire from a good. turret and you capture Burn the turret here. control it's center, my armor. sometimes the AI will Building continue to captain. fire on the turret. I'll take care of it. Even though you know it's no longer a threat. Who wants some of this? Yeah, bitch yeah, on mech everywhere. Yeah, I've seen that a few times. Yes, sir. Uh, death to all bureaucrats. Yeah, this is one of the reasons why I like to keep, you know, somebody in a second uh, lance like this, because at this point, sending, having sent burn out there to capture the extra turret control, this makes Mission it a little easier complete. later on. Target destroyed. Keep all the heavy hitters later on. But, uh, let's go blow this up. Oh, that was nice and easy. Um, I suppose it. Oh, Jesus! Wait here. Yep. I'm under attack. This is the first I'm real right, introduction sir. we have I've to the target. bad cat. I the, think I've got a new very, the first one you encounter is way back in apart. Operation One, that and suddenly okay. here's the second one at the end of Operation Three. Oh dear. Uh, this is like my armor's coming apart. Yeah. <laughs> Guess what I was doing I'm wrong. Taking enemy fire. Ah. Uh, then bulldogs. Ejecting. Oh well, he lived a good life. Demolishers. Yeah, we have the yeah, they're bulldogs, but they're the AC-20 version, yes, sir. which I don't think is actually in uh, Battletech proper. This is out while they're tearing me apart. But yeah, for all of you kids at home, uh... Ejecting. Yeah, we're running into the fire like they got me that. Safe. Yeah. I, mean, I just love this outdoor ejection. I'm on it, sir. I'm out of ammo. Oh, oh, snap. My neck's nearly out of weapons. Goblin here. I'm getting creamed. You gotta pull yeah. me out. Big goblin here. here. They're taking Be me apart. Here. This is goblin. Almost all my weapons are out. Yeah, Timberwolf, Hunchback, a Hollander, I'm out of ammo, C, damn it. And four that takes care of him. And they just tear my I'm guys apart. Sure. So you did like run practice. directly into that. I thought I was doing fire. running into a, into a pair of demolishers. I don't think these guys like me. With no weapons. Yeah. And what comes next is four minutes of me doing improvised destruction. Because I had a choice at this point of either running back to uh, one of the repair nodes and fixing everything up and coming back again, or I could get creative. And guess which one I went? Uh, run like a little bitch. I did that too. 
but for the most part, I decided to get creative. And getting creative, but actually at this point I was hoping that I could uh, kite the vehicles onto the turrets, but that didn't quite work out. No, cleaning up UPCs make very short work of anything. True. Yeah, but then again, you know, at this point I wasn't focused on the uh, mechs. I was hoping that the vehicles would get themselves killed. But, yeah, take out the turret controls like that. Which actually is a nice thing that the uh, AI is capable of doing. It recognizes that taking out the control center was the better option rather than, you know, slugging it out with the vehicles. Or even trying or to capture slugging it. Slugging out the turrets. Yeah, actually I found that unless the uh, AI is pre-programmed for that sort of thing, they don't capture th stuff. Really? Just like they don't target uh, oil wells and whatnot. It was usually set-piece events rather than anything else. Ah, because I know in um, Mega Man 2, that was one of the more annoying things, is that the enemy would always, always try and recapture stuff. So if you moved I, a little I bit away from it, then they would, uh, yeah, rush in. But that was came in handy for uh, luring them into ambushes and such. Mm -hmm. I think that was one of the AI tweaks they made between the games. But, alright, my plan at this point was to simply kite something and hopefully uh, deal with the enemies piecemeal. But at this point I didn't realize that the all these enemies, they were basically in one force grouping. So they would act as a unified whole rather than as individuals. That's a nice touch. Mm -hmm. Wait, did, by the way, did you capture those warehouses right there? Yes, I did. Oh, good. I took care of those on my first pay, on my going through to the north. Yeah, for those guys at home, I'm actually taking the hardest trip through. It's actually possible to simply swing around the west side and the north side of the map and void most of this, just deal with a couple of catapults and a couple of Jaegers over the bridge, and be done where's, with where's it. Where's the fun out? Uh, when you can do something like this? Yes, sir. Hunter here. Or so much for that. that. Yeah. Love when the plane comes I was together. actually... Yeah, it was beautiful when that happened, I have to say. Hunter that. here, changing attack range. I mean, range. to be fair, the AI doesn't do this normally. They just take closest path. Are you in range of weapons? Fire weapons. If not, get closer. Of course, I'm glad Link survived this long, because only he and Bruno had the speed to pull this off. Right in my kinda... sight. He is yeah, kind of right in the uh, sub tank chief. This is Rooster. Another one bites the dust. Well, I'm on it, sir. That is just a case of you know mopping up the vehicles. Actually, you know what I find this interesting though is that technically both two I've faced so far have met the same fate. They're me up they got blown up by uh, fire. oil fields and you shot down you, by sir. my guys. Except in this case, Another it was in reverse order. Eat and nice little jump cut there to get rid of the, uh... Yeah, just the walking back was... It was Any mission with an minutes. extraction point can can be a little bit tedious. Yeah, especially on the long walk back. It's really annoying, though, when you've got a mech with crippled uh, legs. But, best part about all this, everybody? Lynx is now elite, and his gunnery skill is officially at 100%. The thread may celebrate now. Woo! Woo party! Now he really is yeah. Link's, Link Eyes. Mm -hmm. I've always I've always seen the well, comparison yes. between Links in this game and Links in uh, Jagged Lines too. They even they kind of kind of sound the same as well. <laughs> Who knows? Maybe they got the same voice actor. Yeah, maybe. I mean, yeah, Links in J too. He's the sniper, so. Yeah. Actually, I noticed that. Uh... Hunter also got to Gunnery Max this mission as well. But he's still only a veteran, isn't he? Yeah, I yeah I put a veteran into the uh, uh, Atlas because my only elite mech going into this mission was Vixen, and she's still in the hospital, unless I wanted to run with a uh, three-health pilot. Uh, in, an a, in an Atlas, you might be able to gamble that, but you probably did the right call by not doing that. Well, yeah, and besides, it was... 
Hitman was still uh, in the hospital as well, so it was a case of put the guy with the best gunnery skill in the Atlas and, you know, have everybody else cover for best. him. Well, I mean, if mm-hmm. you want to make him elite, there's only one thing you could do, and that is in in a mission at some point, stick him in a jump jet mech and then just whore up the jumping skill. True. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, training up jump jets is so hard. Everything, like, Piloting and gunnery goes up naturally. Sensors goes up with sensors. But... It's a little bit slower than the other two, but it does go up. But jumping needs... You need to actually be actively using jump jets, which is why I go mm-hmm. into the habit. If I happen to take along a jump jet mech, uh, if there's no combat... It everywhere? If there's no, yeah, if there's no combat, or um, if you're near a repair station just waiting for everyone to repair up, just jump all over the place. And, you know, if he falls down a couple of times, you've got a you know, repair bay right there. Unless, of course, you know, the mech falls over, lands on its cockpit, and kills the pilot. I've ISIS. never had that happen. <laughs> I was actually looking at, uh, because this game is freeware, the source code's been made available, and they did model in the game uh, falling damage like that. I know that there's, the I know there's falling damage, but to the cockpit as well? Well, basically what happens is when a mech falls over, it can take damage depending on uh, which dr- like where it falls over. And when a mech gets knocked down, it automatically falls face first. Oh. So the co- so you can take cockpit damage falling over. And if you take cockpit damage, your pilot can take damage. That's awesome, but also kind of a dick move. Glad that uh was that not included? That that's from the base board game. Oh, and that from, was from included game, in yeah. this game. Ah, yeah. Ah. All right. Well, overall successful yeah. mission. Um. Took a, yeah. you took out a hell of a lot of mechs. Oh, so many mechs. I mean, I've gone through what two galaxies at this point. Or in that in that well, lone mission, you went through uh, that was two binaries. Yeah. And those were heavies in assaults, except for the. Uh, two, well, actually, no, no assaults, but yeah, it was uh, pure heavies. No, no, the Jaeger's an eighty tonner, isn't it? Jaeger's so a seventy-five. Mech. I've got the manual right here. The the Jaeger mech, no, the Jaeger mech 70... in the game is a five-ton heavy version than the uh, the standard, but it is a it's a seventy-ton, the seventy-tonner. Oh, fair, fair enough, because it feels like it's an 80-tonner mech when you face it down. I think that's just because it moves so slow. Because lol inner sphere. True. Hmm. Yeah, lol inner sphere. Well, thank you, Pain God, for joining me, and I will hope to see you again soon. Yeah, damn straight, and I'll let you know. Um, I do actually have a plan when I would like you to come in for MechWarrior 4, um, so I'll let you know when that happens. All right. Thank you, and I'll see you guys next time. See you later. Bye.